And this is in Eco July 2022 General Mathematics paper to end we're answering question number five and the question reads uh, that the table below shows the expenditure of a woman in a month. This is the table we have with items for the housing, savings, closing, and other expenses. These are the major categories of expenditures this woman is making each and every month. So the amount for each expenditure is given. Food is 9,600. Housing is 8,000. Saving is 5,600. Naira clothing, 2,400. And uh, other expenses is 6,400. So these are the expenses. So the question asked here, number A, you asked to draw a pie chart to illustrate the information. And question number B, you asked to find out what the percentage of her income is spent on food. So let's attempt to answer this very question together. Solution to the problem, in order to draw a pie chart, the first you do is to have the total, total expenditure. It's not a given in the question, so you have to add this uh, five amounts that will give you the total. So total expenditure is now going to be 9,600 plus 8,000 plus 5,600 plus 2,400 plus 6,400. Addition of this uh, five values, if done correctly, you now have 32,000. This is the total money maybe this woman is earning in each and every month. So to draw this pie chart, you need to calculate the angle. It is the angle that will now differentiate between a sector representing the food and the sector representing for housing because those sectors will now have different sizes and those different sizes depend on the angle. So you need to now calculate each and every angle for each expenditure. So starting with the food, to calculate the angle for food, you now take uh, the amount for food divided by the total amount, then multiply by total angle in a cycle that is 360. Something like this. 9,600 is the amount for food from the table. Divided by the total amount, and this fraction multiplied by 360 total angle in a cycle. If this division and multiplication is done correctly, you now have uh, the angle for food as 180 degrees. Next, you now take the second item, which is housing. So housing you now have, it is amount, which is 8,000. Divided by the total amount, which is 32,000, multiplied by total angle, which is 360. If this division and the multiplication is done correctly, you now have 90 degrees. So you did the same for the remaining three items. Each you now take it is amount divided by total amount multiplied by total angle. If you do for the three, you now have uh, savings, you have the angle at 63 degrees, closing you have 27 degrees, and other expenses you have uh, 72 degrees. This will now be the angles for each of the sectors that will be representing each of these five items. So next is to take your compass and draw a very large cycle pie chart. Always you use a perfect cycle. Don't use a rock sketch. You have to use a compass to draw that cycle perfectly. So to draw that cycle, you need to have a small dot somewhere. So if this is my dot, for example, where I put the needle of my compass, then I will now draw a large cycle like this. And next, uh, from this middle, that is the center of the cycle. That's why it's good you make a dot so that it will not disappear. So you now use your long ruler to draw a line from that very point in the middle to any part of the circumference, just like this. Then you now take your protractor you to measure each and every of those angles. You must measure. During the marking, the examiner must use his protractor too to measure all your angles. So starting with the very first item, which is the food, which is angle 108. So I'll put my protractor here and take angle 108 degrees using, using look at the line here. So I'm now going to use the, the inner scale. The inner scale, this is, uh, this is 100. So I'll now eight, um, eight small divisions there. I'll make a small mark, look at it. Then I'll lift the protractor up. Then I'll now use my ruler to join from the middle to that very dot that I make that give me angle 108. Then I'll now name the sector foot and I'll write the size of the angle 108. 
So you now take the protractor back here and measure the next angle, which is 90 for housing. Let me do that. So this is my protractor, starting with the decimal line, using the inner scale, 90 degrees will now be here, so you make a small dot. Look at the dot there. So you now lift the protractor up and use your long ruler to join from this dot to the middle of the cycle. And you now name this uh, sector housing and you now mark angle 90 degrees. So next you take the protractor back again and measure this angle 63 degrees starting from here. Let me take it back. So starting from this line using the inner scale angle 63 degrees. This is the small dot. Look at it just close to this my duster. So you lift it up and use your long ruler to draw from the center to that dot and you now name this sector 7 and you write it as angle 63 degrees. So next is the sector for closing. Take the protractor back again. Major angle 27 degrees. Angle 27 using the inner scale. This is 20 so you count 7 small divisions. It's now going to be somewhere here. So you now lift it and you now draw from that dot to the center and you now name this sector close. So the last sector, which is other expenses, if all other angles are measured correctly, even if you measure this is going to give you 72 degrees exactly. So you just name it uh, other expenses and it is now going to be angle 72 degrees. So this question number A has been answered. This information is now represented on a pie chart. So question number B, that asks us to find what percentage of her income is spent on food. Amount spent on food is 9,600 Naira. And this is the total amount. So to find the percentage, what you simply do, you now take the amount for food, divided by the total amount, they multiply the fraction by 100%. That gives answer 9,600 divided by 32,000 multiplied by 100%. If this is done correctly, you simply get answer 30%. So 30% is now the percentage of the amount that is she spent on food. You can equally take the angle for food 108, divided by total angle, then multiplied by 100% is still the same result. So this answered all the two questions. Let me just share with you how this question is now marked during the marking of this very paper. So the very first mark is the bonus one mark, and this bonus one mark is for getting the total amount for all the expenditures. As 32,000 Naira, you have this bonus one mark. Next mark is B3 marks, and this B3 marks is for calculating the angles for each and every expenditure. Next mark is another bonus two marks, and this bonus two marks is for drawing the pie chart correctly. Like I have said, all the sectors, the angles must be measured accurately. So each wrong sector will be minus half a mark. The next mark is method mark, and this method mark is for attempting correctly to find the percentage of amount for food are either 9600 divided by 32,000 times 100% or 108, the angle for food divided by total angle multiplied by 100%. Anyone that happens, you have this method one mark. Then when you now have 30% as the final answer, as the percentage of amount for food accurately, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this person has eight good marks.